And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. What's up, YouTube? Eric with Ham Radio Concepts. I have a video here, a quick video on the Bofung GT3WP. You're probably familiar with the Bofung radios. This is a newer one. A couple things have changed on the new Bofung, but the GT3WP, WP stands for waterproof. This is IP67 waterproof, so it's submersible three feet underwater for 30 minutes um, to maintain working operation. Um, so we're going to check this out. This radio comes from RadioDiddy.com. The link is in the description. They have all kinds of the Bofung models and uh, TYT DMR models and such. So check them out. Um, to get ready right into the radio here, uh, we'll see what's, uh, what's looking different on this. So first off, the, the case design is a little bit heftier than something like, say, the GT3 itself. This was the GT3. And... Some layout has changed, some connection has changed, we'll go through that right now. First off, um, it comes with all the standard accessories, the antenna, the belt clip, the uh, earpiece for microphone and uh, earpiece for hands-free operation, as well as the uh, instruction manual. But a couple things different, so let's go over the battery first. The, this unit being waterproof is pretty much sealed, okay? So the battery on the bottom has, and I'll take this antenna off so I can get to it, the battery on the bottom has a little switch with an arrow and basically you want to pull that arrow in the direction of the arrow to get that battery off all right because it is a really watertight seal on there so then the battery just goes on here and clicks and it's got a nice tight seal on here for waterproofing um, on the left, PTT button, two function buttons here that you can program independently to do different things such as scan, flashlight on the top, FM radio, and stuff like that. There is a orange uh, function button up here as well. It can be used for changing power level or several different things up here. LED indicator, green for receive, red for transmit. Standard SMA um, male antenna adapter uses an SMA female antenna. Um, comes with one. A lot of people choose to get an aftermarket one when they purchase the radio. Uh, on the the right here, you'll notice this is a little bit different than any other Bofung here because it's got a screw here with a cover for a watertight seal. But what you'll notice is that they didn't keep the same design for the speaker mic and programming cable. It now has somewhat of a like a Motorola connector, which the hands-free kit that comes with it has the same connector. I don't have the programming cable, but the programming cable would have something like this as well, and that basically goes on the radio on the side with the screw holding it in. All right. So uh, your existing programming cable and earpiece from other Bofung and Ushan models will not work with this. Make sure this is a rubber seal here. Make sure when you put this back on that you get the screw on and the cover is nice and tight to prevent water getting into it because that's what keeps the IP67 waterproofing is all the connections are nice and tight. Um, the keypad in the front, um, what you're missing here is an AB button. So to go from VFO mode to channel mode, you're going to hold the menu button and turn it on. Mode. That's channel mode. So when you have frequencies programmed in memories, this is now memory mode or channel mode as they call it. This will be a question that a lot of people have because it, I actually had to open the manual to find it out because it's on something like a GT3 Bofung, you have an AB button and a VFO MR button in memory. So to do that, um, you would, again, we're in channel mode, we'll turn this off, we'll hold menu, turn it back on. Frequency mode. Now I'm in frequency mode, so now I can just do direct entry on the keypad. Um, the exit button is actually your AB button, so that will switch you between VFO, VFO, B. Um, one cool thing is the zero button, the squelch, if you hold that, it'll show you on the screen your battery voltage. Now that might be useful for someone, you know, when you charge this fully, it may say 8.2 volts, and when you're completely dead and it shuts off, maybe 6.8 volts or 7 volts. So that may prove to be a little bit more accurate than the battery indicator that comes on the screen because you can see exactly what your voltage is. You'll know you're 0.2 volts away from it shutting down completely. Um, 
direct entry for the frequency, the same functions in the menu exist. So, as I had said before with some of my other videos, the easiest way to get on one of these and go right into, say, a repeater, okay, would be to put in the frequency of the repeater, in this case, my local one, 146.040, and then you can simply hit menu, menu 26, that would be your offset, negative 600, 25 would be your shift, positive or negative direction, and 13 would be your tone. That's it. That's the same way as it is with the UV5R and the GT3. You can just get right in there, you set those three functions, and you're on a repeater. Um, not having to plug it into a programming cable and computer to program it, although that does make it a lot easier. Um, so with those three in there, I can get on a repeater. Uh, so the same quick functions exist. If you want to get right to the timeout timer, you can hit menu, menu. and then number nine. You can get right to the timeout timer. Zero for squelch, so menu zero will take you to squelch. Pretty easy to do everything right from the front. A lot of people get these, oh no, I can't get it, I can't work it because I don't have a cable. Sometimes I have so many of these things, I don't even program them. I just do it right on the fly. I know all the repeaters and tones in the area. If you need to have it programmed, it's a good idea to have a programming cable. But you'll have to get the new one for this because, as I said, it won't fit. Um, the antenna connection, you want to make sure this is in there. Don't over tighten it. You want to make sure it is on there snug so that water doesn't get in there. The speaker sounds really good. Um, the microphone, I talked, I'll see if someone's on here in a second. Uh, the microphone, despite having the waterproof seal, uh, evidently, uh, people can hear me just fine. In fact, I'll throw a call out. Oh, let me turn my speakers down because that interferes with the speakers. And they're still on. KM4 CPU from KJ4YZ. Are you there, Bob? And like my ID51 D-Star handheld, you have to get right up on the mic and kiss it because uh, the waterproof seal uh, blocks out the microphone. This one, I was talking about five inches away, and they can hear me right through the mic. Bob's not there. He might have uh, took off for a little bit. There he is. Hey, Bob, it's Eric, KJ4YZI, just running a test again on video. I sound all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making some video, but wanted to test it on uh, on video. So, thank you, Bob. I'll talk to you later. KJ4YZI. And you can see right there, I'm not even... And that's not even right up on the microphone, so uh, sounding good. The speaker sounds good. FM radio works well. Um, FM radio can be programmed under one of these buttons. Right now it's programmed on the top button, and then I can just basically key in the frequency. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And he walks her up to bed, mm -hmm. and he gets on her bed, and he sleeps with her every single night. Uh, All right, talk radio there. Uh, so, three different colors on the screen, purple, orange, and blue. You can set them independently for transmit, receive, and standby. But the most important thing, let's go ahead and uh, get right into the water test. I want to put this thing on the water and see what happens. All right, so I'm outside. I have a container of water, the GT3WP. I'm going to drop it in there, and we're going to give it a test. Here we go. Underwater. Screen is still on. Shake that out a little bit. See if the radio works. Staples.com for details. Staples, make more happen. Real Radio 1017. Price, price match guarantee. You'll get the lowest price. Price match included checkout for items from retailers operating online and in store. More products sold and shipped by Amazon. Nice. See stores. Staples. Let's see if anybody's out there. KJ4YZI testing. I don't know if anybody's on hey, here. Good morning, Eric. KJ4RXT, how are you? Hey, uh, David, real quick. I'm uh, dunking this Bofung radio underwater. How do I sound? You sound like you would be underwater. Um, you're coming in uh, 
pretty clear, You're just a little low on the volume, but uh, as far as clarity, it's probably an 8 or 9 out of 10. How about that if I'm talking right into the mic? That, you couldn't tell at all. It came in, you know, probably uh, perfect signal. There you go. Waterproof test. Check out RadioDiddy.com and subscribe to my other videos on my channel. 7-3 from KJ4YZI. This has been another exciting amateur radio video presented by Ham Radio Concepts. Subscribe today on YouTube. Search Ham Radio Concepts, all one word.